The next step in uh, our thinking about quality for folks with developmental disabilities was really initiated by a gentleman named Wolf Wolfensperger. Uh, the name's a mouthful, but he had more of an impact on our field than uh, any uh, other people I can think of. In the 1970s, he wrote a book called Normalization, the Principle of Normalization in Human Services, in which he was the first to set some fundamental human values at the core of everything we thought about in the human services, particularly in the field of what was then called mental retardation. Normalization was a simple concept. It was misunderstood and misapplied for years and years and years, but at its heart was this simple disabilities, particularly people who have been excluded from everyday life, should have access to the normal routines and rhythms of American culture. That simple concept. When you take a person and place him in an institution 30 miles from town with 2,000 of his closest friends, he does not have access to the routines and rhythms of everyday life in American culture. That makes that person different. It stigmatizes, it labels, and it segregates. Wolfensperger was really the pioneer who showed us uh, that there should and can be a very different way of supporting people. And that way is based on their common humanity and that their needs and wants are just like tolerate the idea of institutional segregation. So, beginning in the 1970s and following what I mentioned before about the exposés and the scandals, in the 1970s, we saw an era of litigation based on the thinking that we can do better, promulgated by Wolf Wolfensperger. There is a better way. It's not segregation. It's not dehumanization. It's bringing those people and accepting those people and never segregating those people from everyday lives and regular for Retarded Children, later Association for Retarded Citizens, now just ARC. The ARC hired a young attorney to do something about this terrible institution called Pennhurst. And he recommended to the ARC that there was no basis for suing to close the place. Have the ability for young people with disabilities to go to public school. That wasn't in existence then. So the ARC, uh, with Tom Gilhul, sued the state of Pennsylvania uh, for education for everybody. And they won very easily because someone finally discovered that the Commonwealth's constitution, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, said the Commonwealth is responsible for educating all its children. All? Yes, it says all. And that was it in 1972. There was a settlement. The right to education was established in Pennsylvania. By 1975, normalization from Wolfensperger was rampant around the country. People were learning. Allowed to go to our public schools in America. Those things happening at the same time in the 70s, plus litigation to end institutional segregation, really shaped the decade and made us think a lot more about quality. Quality began to evolve, I think, in the American psyche as having access to what everybody has access to. It's really simple citizenship. 